Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. This session is for our intermediate level players and the topic is first touch under pressure. To start with we're going to warm up in a 24 by 24 yard grid with a series of cones down the middle, around 2 yards apart. Players are going to work in twos and move along the cones, passing in between them. Start with the players facing each other and passing to a stationary receiver. You can advance this in several different ways. You can ask them to play a pass to a moving receiver, ask them to trap and move the ball to the next gate within two touches, ask them to do a zigzag to the end with as few touches as possible, ask them to receive the ball aerially, maybe a throw, and ask them to try and team juggle towards the end. Making it easy we can make the cones further apart, making it harder we can use any progressions from above. There's two coaching points that you should definitely have a look at at this point, then we're going to move on to the technical element of our session. In a 24 by 24 yard grid with an 8 by 8 grid in the centre, we're going to spread our players around the outside of the larger square. Half of them are going to have a ball and half of them will not. Select two players to go inside the central square. One of them will be an attacker and one of them will be a defender. The attacker is going to try and check out and receive the ball before connecting to another player on the outside that does not have the ball. The defender is going to try and stay with the attacker and to stop this happening. After each rep they must check back to the middle and then go again. They can do this as many times as possible within 60 seconds. Rotate through all your players and get them in the centre and you can also have the outside players serve the ball aerially or as throw-ins to make the game more realistic. Making it easy you can put two attackers and only one defender in the middle. Making it harder you can ask players to complete a pass with only two touches. There's a coaching point on decision making and you should definitely familiarise yourself with this. And in our tactical element of the game, it's a 24 by 24 yard field with a goal in each corner. It's going to be 8 attackers versus 4 defenders with 1 ball. 4 of the attacking players will space out around the outside of the square and this will leave a 4v4 in the centre. The job of the attacking team is to try and receive the ball from the outside, trap it and score in a goal on the opposite side to which they have received. We suggest using throw-ins on the outside to make it more game realistic and the defenders are trying to intercept the ball and the defenders are trying to intercept the ball and can score in any of the small goals. Making it easy we can allow the attacking team to score in any of the goals, making it harder we can ask the attacking team to connect a minimum number of passes before scoring. The first coaching point is decision making on this and you should definitely familiarise yourself with this. In the last part of our session it's game time. We suggest playing 5v5 to try and keep all the players engaged and we suggest playing no goalkeepers to encourage accurate shots. In order to create plenty of coaching moments, we suggest setting formations to have equal attackers and defenders for each team. We advise that you should allow players to enjoy the scrimmage without any conditions. Also, you should make it real by assigning positions, set a formation and help players understand their role. There's a coaching summary on the session plan that you should familiarise yourself with. And thank you very much for watching and for more of these, please visit us on YouTube or visit us on p2.soccer.